So for this tutorial I'm gonna use Red Heart Soft Yarn and 5.5 mm hook. As usual we'll start with the slip knot. So you make a circle, you put the yarn, the thread under the circle and you pull through and you have your first knot. I'll chain four. One, two, three, and four. I'll join with a slip stitch to form a circle. Now I'll chain three. And I'll make 11 double crochet inside the circle. So yarn over insert your hook inside the circle or the round and work your double crochet so if you are a beginner and you're still new to the double crochet i'll put the link in the description box to see how to achieve a simple double crochet stitch so here i have 11 double crochet plus the chain 3 so for this circle we want to have uh, an invisible uh, turning means you don't know where you started so it's a seamless circle for that I will be joining on top of the double crochet not on top of the chain 3 on top of the double crochet so the chain 3 initial chain 3 will be invisible so this is my chain 3 and this is the top of my double crochet I will slip stitch on top of this double crochet like this so now you have a full circle and you don't have the space in between every row now I will go on to my next row and then again I will chain three one two three so now I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is two double crochet in every stitch so we previously had 11 plus 1 chain 3 now we should have 22 double crochet in the round 2 plus the chain 3 so the chaining 3 is the foundation or the beginning of every row so this is my first stitch I will make two double crochet And two double crochet in the next one and in the next one until the end of the row here so we'll count how many <coughs> stitches we have so one two three four five six 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 and this is the chain 3 okay so 22 double crochet again what we're gonna do we're not gonna join to the uh, top of the chain 3 we're gonna join on to the first double crochet after the chain three like so oops sorry okay and this is how it is so far we still have a seamless circle we'll go on to the next row to see uh, how the work progresses and how flat and seamless the okay, circle so is. now I'm starting the round three and here will be the change which we'll keep uh, doing in every round from now on so in the previous row we did two double crochet in every stitch and then we got total of 22 now in the third row 
I'm going to chain three as usual, which is my invisible stitch. And then I will do two double crochet in the first stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch. I will alternate two, one, two, one till the end of my round. So in the first stitch here, I will make two double crochet. In the next one here, I will make one double crochet. In the next one, I will make two. And in the next one, I will make one. So again, I will alternate two double crochet in one stitch one double crochet in the next stitch please follow till the end of the round to see how we should be closing and what's the number we should get at the end okay <coughs> so i have one stitch left here and i have this one uh, the beginning of the chain three so what you need to know when you're working a flat circle when you start with two double crochet in one stitch the end work here should be one double crochet so if you finishing your work with two double crochet here and the starting is two double crochet means something is wrong and you missed a count so you have to repeat so now i will finish with one double crochet then i will join to close the circle again on top of the double crochet and you see how it is this is how to have the flat, seamless, perfect circle. So for each row coming up, every time you have to increase the double single crochet in every stitch means here we did two double crochet in one stitch, one double crochet in the next. For row four, you'll do two double crochet in one stitch and you'll do one double crochet in the next two stitches. The next row, uh, uh, one double crochet in next three stitches to keep your circle flat I'll put the link for uh, the uh, written pattern on, uh, on my blog and also a link to the other flat circles I have done previously but it's not the same as this one where you have uh, uh, you have like a flat perfect circle I hope you like this tutorial and found it easy to follow let me know what you think and until next time take care bye bye